So how come we're not heating more of our domestic hot water using the sun? After all, 45% of the average power bill goes on water heating. One of the most efficient solar water heating systems is the enclosed heat exchange type. It's a sealed unit with the capillary tubes very close together and an anti-freeze solution inside. Cost-wise, it would save you up to 40%, so it pays for itself in about three years. So I'd say count days like today, but what do you do when the sun doesn't shine? The sun is, is double the capacity of a normal cylinder, so you stored up hot water there for those days when you don't have it. And what happens is that you can couple the system with some sort of booster. So in the middle of winter, you could either have a, a gas booster or connect it to your fireplace and have a wet back, or have an electric booster on a more conventional house. But this isn't a conventional house. This year, Simon Cope declared independence and removed his home from the national grid. As well as solar water heating, he has 12 photovoltaic panels and complements the system with LPG gas. Well, you certainly don't have the Clyde Dam down here, do you? It's very small. It all, it virtually all happens here. How does it work? The electricity generator on the roof comes down to the panels here and then goes through this wall to the inverter on the other side from there into the normal fuse board in your house. So after that, it's the same as anyone else's house? It's exactly the same. Now, these aren't normal car batteries, though? No, they're deep cycle uh, golf cart batteries designed to be cycled up and down on a regular basis. Okay. And on that theory, it should last six years. Simon, the house looks like any other electrically powered house to me. You've got a laptop, you've got a fax machine, and the kitchen certainly has plenty of appliances. How come when well, you're generating your own power? All those appliances can be used. There's only three main appliances that you can't use. Electric stove, electric hot water, and electric space heating. Everything else is... So how do you get around those? You get around those by using more energy efficient appliances. An LPG stove, fridge and freezer replace the power guzzling electrical variety. The clothes dryer is used sparingly and he waits for a full load before using the washing machine. The stereo actually doesn't use much power. The lights are special low energy consumers and the outside lights have their own mini solar panels. It's a matter of keeping an eye on how full the batteries are and turning things off when you aren't using them. Do you think you, you'll get to a stage where you're generating enough surplus power that you could conceivably sell it back to the grid? Most definitely. By today, the batteries were charged up by 10 o'clock and then had two to three hours after that of excellent power being generated and going nowhere. And so it's happening in Japan and Europe and the States and Australia within the next year. So most definitely.